right, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And now we have a bunch of academic elitist researchers, whoever they are. They want to tax your food according to its so-called carbon footprint or however they put it. They want to protect your, you from yourself by uh, taking food out of your pantry. That's what this amounts to. They'll tax it, and of course they get to keep money. These aren't uh, in government, fortunately, so uh, we don't have to worry about these people, per se, passing anything, but other than passing gas. Taxing greenhouse emissions from food production could save more emissions than are currently generated by global aviation and lead to half a million fewer deaths from chronic diseases according to a new study published in Nature Climate Change. So what they're saying is because uh, food is flown around the world, there'll be less planes in there. This is all our abilities. Stupid. A study conducted by a team of researchers from Oxford Martin Program in Future Food at the University of Oxford and International Food Policy Research Institute in Washington, D.C. I think it's Washington, not the U.K. then. I don't know, it's confusing. His first global analysis to estimate the impacts that loving emissions prices on food could have on greenhouse gas emissions and human health. This article is confusing. It says they're in England. It says they're in Washington. Take your pick. It's all the same to me anyway. Findings show that one, about 1 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions could be avoided in the year 2020 if emissions pricing of foods were to be implemented more than total current emissions from global aviation. However, the authors stress that due to consideration, the due consideration would need to be given to ensure that such policies do not impact negatively on low-income populations. Oh, come on, you know it's going to take food out of people's mouths because you jerks think that you have the right to be on the planet and they don't. Emission pricing is Your nose is growing longer. Pinocchio. Food would generate a much needed contribution of the food system to reducing impacts of global climate change, said Dr. Mark Marco Springman of the Oxford Martin Program on the Future of Food and led the study. We hope that that's something policymakers gathering this week in the Marrakech Climate Conference will take note of. Uh, I'm going to break this down. These people would love to uh, starve out the so-called deplorables, little people who just never seem to get anywhere. There will always be poor. You're not going to stop that no matter what. They basically want to starve them out the way that uh, certain other dictators like um, Joseph Stalin and Mao Zedong uh, did, and that little squint-eyed piece of dirt up there in uh, North Korea. He starves his own people. You want to see what uh, the food situation would look like if these people were in charge? What? Uh, look at North Korea. But then again, one of them is in charge and he's getting ready to leave office. That would be Barack and Sane Obama. And we just had a crazy woman who just lost the critical election. That would be Hillary Green Screen Clinton. 
Much of the emissions reduction would stem from higher prices and lower consumption of animal products. Go to hell! I happen to like to eat meat. As their emissions are particularly high. Researchers found that beef would have to be 40% more expensive globally to pay for climate damage caused by its production. 40% go to hell! Price of milk and other meats would need to increase by up to 20%, and the price of vegetable oils would also increase significantly. The researchers estimate that such price increases would result in around 10% lower consumption of food items that are high in emissions. In other words, they want to starve you! If you have to pay 40% more for your steak, you might choose to have it once a week instead of twice, said Dr. Springer. Go to hell! And they have an abstract. These sons of bitches, by their own admission, want to starve you! They want to starve you! This is what the conspiracy theorists have been saying! But these sons of bitches want to kill off 90% of the world's population. Well, these people want to make a at least make a contribution to that. They want to starve off the poor. There's no getting around it. You take food like that, you are going to starve people. Fuck you, sons of bitches! Alright, I can't scream anymore. You get the point. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I am hot right now. I better quit before I pop a, pop a blood vessel. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.